welcome back to photoshop have a great day to all i hope you all watch photoshop video section 1 2 and 3 if not kindly watch fully i gave the link of section 1 2 and 3 as well as chapter 1 worksheet with answers if you watched previous video then it is easy to follow the concept of photoshop as well as you can able to answer for worksheet chapter 2 also now just we'll have a quick look on section 3 and continue the section 4 in section 3 we saw the chapter 2 common editing skills right so in this common editing skills just we saw about editing an image four concept that is cropping and resizing we saw in detail and today's section we are going to see about the correcting the image as well as the sharpening or blurring our image so cropping an image we saw this is the tool for cropping the image we all know how to crop an image so before crop this is the crop tool and so after cropping you will get the image like this right so as well as we saw about the market tool we have four toolbox and see this is the tool market tool and we have four types of market tools so how it will display when it crops this is rectangular market tool and then elliptical and we saw in detail about pixels and resizing image also we saw that we want to move to the menu that is image menu and then image size so after that the dialog box will appear in that we can change the height and width for the image to resize the image so this will be the original and after resizing how the image it will be is fine so that's it about the quick look of the previous section 3 today we are going to see correcting an image is a very important concept uh, there would be a many instance where you need to correct an image right uh, which has certain effect from the environment where it is taken uh, it could be a red eye in an image or high beam of light in a photo all this can be corrected easily in the photoshop right so today we are going to see about red eye effect in correcting an image first concept is red eye effect so what is mean by red eye effect so the appearance of red eye in a picture is known as red eye effect so just we'll see the theory part we'll see in detail in the practical right so the red eye tool is used to remove the red eye effect in the pulse of the image so if a person have the red eye effect we can easily remove with this red eye tool so see here in the toolbox I read I tool on selecting this we can remove it so next thing is sharpening or blurring an image under this concept we'll see the first thing is the flash effect uh, in Photoshop you can create a flash effect for the photo suppose your photos appearance is dark we can blend with this flash effect see here first the image is dark see this is a dark image and by using the flash effect we can make this image very light like bright flash effect so like this this is the best example so we can do like this we can do this magic like this also so this is the flash effect we'll see in the demo and next how to do means we need to go to the layer menu in the menu bar and click the duplicate layer option and we need to rename the duplicate image 
see here we moved the menu and we want to click this duplicate layer after that we want to rename here in the duplicate layer after that you want to give ok so then right click the image in the layer panel and we want to choose the blending option to select the blend mode so before applying the flash effect the picture looks like this and after applying flash see this image is slightly dark when compared to this and see here the flash effect this picture is somewhat brighter than this so this is the difference before and after applying the flash effect is fine so next comes is the blur effort uh, this blur tool is used to blur an image so mostly this will be used a live example if you want to see uh, the newspapers and the news you can see this type of efforts so you can blur certain section of a photo like background or uh, the foreground whatever it is okay so we have lot of blur effect just for example we'll see only the Gaussian blur during the practice I mean the demo I'll show you the more so for this it allow you to find tune the blur how to select this means just click on the main filter menu in the menu bar then move to the blur and then Gaussian blur you want to give at the time you want to set the ratios four radius you want to select as four and press ok so see here the difference so before applying the blur effect the image look like this and after applying the blur effect see this image is blurred when compared to the previous image this is the original image and after the blur effect you will get the image like this so theory part is over we'll move on to the demo section it will be very interesting and it is very useful so just i'll close this i'll open photoshop photoshop cs6 is okay so just a minute it's loading this come on yeah so just you want to wait yeah it's open first correcting an image we are going to see red eye effect so for this just i'll open an image just open uh, in desktop itself i store it's photoshop of this baby open is see here see the appearance of the red eye in picture is known as a red eye effect we all know right so changes are the reason you have the red eye in every photo is that you start directly into the camera lens when you pose for pictures enabling the light to reflect off the highly vague vector retina straight back to the straight back at the camera at a direct angle so because of that only okay right so i shine or the white yellow or green color glow that's reflected in many animal eye including dogs cat deer horse etc is caused by a special reflective layer in the retina see here retina of many animals not only human for many animal eyes the red eye tool is the most is one of the simplest tool imaginable okay it's a, like magic tool we can tell so when light shines in the special layer of the retina see here retina it causes a pulp to glow in a wide variety of color see the difference actually it should be black color so we can see the variety of colors here in the retina so in this what we can do in photoshop 
with the click you can remove the red eye effect right just select the red eye tool from the toolbox so the toolbox right here you want to select the red eye tool see here this is the red eye tool you can able to see right just click this red eye tool yes click on the red eye that is a red spot on the path see here point to the eye click to remove yes that's it fine now you can see the the redness disappear completely see here also yes we'll take another one image is open just for example open this already we selected this red eye tool just click see here wow it's like magic right that's a very simple method yes next comes i uh, will move the sharpening or blurring so under that first concept is flash effect just i'll open one image yes before that i'll explain what is it in photoshop you can create a flash effect for photos that appear dark during the blending option right so the blending mode specified the option bar contains how pixel in the images are affected by painting or editing uh, the tool so three colors first the base color how the picture and then second one is the blend color and third one result color so three colors are the base color and then blend and then a result color the base color example i'll open an image uh, yes just open one image yes fine so first base color the base color is the original color of the image right and then second one blend color is the color uh, being applied with the painting or editing tool whatever it is and then finally the result color is the color resulting from the blend finally we will get that so first thing just step okay for the flash effect i open an image this is the first step then in the menu bar go to the layer yes and select the duplicate yes this is the duplicate layer so just why we are selecting means we should not disturb the original original image so we are going to take the duplicate of that image so go for the duplicate so here rename as layer 1 and give ok so after this just right click on this image okay and blending option just select the blending option and see the layer style dialog box appear change the blend mode see here this is the blend mode right actually it is in normal just select this screen you select just select the screen and you give ok see here wow the flash effect is applied to this image you can see the difference right this is after and just i'll open the same image another copy is open yeah see here this is the previous image and you can see this yes after applying flash and this previous image see you can see the difference right that's it about the flash effect then comes the blur effect it's a very important thing and it is interesting also this blur effect right is one of the most widely used tool in the photoshop as the name suggested the tool is used to blur an image just i'll open an image just open ah uh, yes yeah so what can a blur effect do this blur tool right this tool is a flexible tool you can blur certain uh, section of a photo like background while leaving the foreground in the focus or uh, there are many types of blur effect in the photoshop 
I'll show you. First step, just open an image and then go to the menu bar, go to the layer. We want to take the duplicate. Why? We should not disturb the original image. So go to the duplicate layer. So yes, just name the layer as layer 1 and ok then now go to the filter is this in the menu bar just go to the filter and see here we have lot of blur options here so now I am going to select I don't want the whole picture to blur so you can notice in newspaper and in news and all right just to blur the face of this person alone means just go to the selection tool and just you select this part alone see now I selected now go to the filter and go to the blur and you can go to the Gaussian blur so so many types are there just just Gaussian blur so see here the radius you can give as 4 and you ok see here you can see the difference right see just I'll open the original image yes see this is the original image after blur see here you can notice this so the same way you want to just see select this portion and you can go to the filter and blur uh, you can choose any blur that you want motion see here the difference See still if you want to make like this you can do and you can give ok. So this is very helpful tool in the real time if you are telling if you want to hide some uh, name or the face of the person very well you can use this. Yes fine I hope today's section is very interesting and useful right yes so you have Today's section is clear, I think so. Just few questions to test your knowledge in chapter 2. I send the worksheet for chapter 2 as a link. So check that link and you can answer that. We come to end of this section. We will meet on next section. Thank you. Be safe and be happy. Take care. Bye-bye.